our fast-paced modern world, the healthier lifestyle choices are sometimes perceived as taking too much time or effort. Lauren Parsons has written a book called Real Food, Less Fuss. And that sounds like something that we could all use. Morning, Lauren. Morning. Hi, nice to be here. Really nice to have you. And may I say, I love a guest who brings snacks. Brings this snacks, is yeah, good. good. Future guests, just so you know, we do <laughs> like having snacks. Um, what's your food philosophy? What's inspired you? Well, I guess my philosophy, it comes down to two things really. One is to eat real food and then the other is to eat mindfully. And so this book, it really covers both of those things, both the psychology of how to eat well and also how to make it really easy. Because there's so many busy people yeah. that would love to eat more real food, but they're not quite sure where we'll to start the, or how to find time. We look at the books and we go, that looks great, but it's going to take too much effort. I need something very fast and quick, which is then we go and buy the rubbish food. When you say eating mindfully, do you mean eating slowly and thinking about it or yeah, so thinking, thinking about what you're about eating? Yeah, what we're doing. Yeah, because we spend so much time multitasking often we're on social media or watching TV we're doing other things so sitting down whenever we eat and just really you know it's much more satisfying to be mindful about the way we eat like the French do they yes, take time over their meals they do. so what is the psychology behind it why do we crave the bad foods well there's a number of reasons we crave bad foods on the physiological side one thing is if we're eating processed foods it's going to give us that blood sugar spike and then the crash afterwards but then on the psychology side usually we crave foods for emotional reasons so we're bored we're lonely, we're stressed, we're tired. And the key thing that I teach people to remember is that it is totally valid to meet your emotional need at the time, but you just don't need food to do that. So set up some if and then strategies. If I get bored, well, I'm going to phone with my best friend. If I get stressed, well, I'm going to go for a run. Or if I get tired, well, I'm just going to take a nap. OK, here's a good one for you then. What about if you just are in the habit of having something sweet and delicious after dinner every night in front of the telly? Yes. I don't know anyone who does that. <laughs> but just saying, someone was doing that. Yes, well, one thing is have something like the chocolate nut bliss slice. Have that, make it in bulk and then freeze it so you don't end up eating the whole lot at once. And, and then just come back to thinking, what is it that's going to satisfy me right now? Because, you know, for most people, if they're feeling lonely, the bottom of an empty tub of ice cream is not going to make them feel any less lonely. Yeah. So I help people to free themselves up from that emotional roller coaster and just be able to eat guilt free and eat mindfully. Now, I want to talk about your snack on exercise because when I read about this in the book, I thought, oh, is it like you do some exercise, then you have a snack? But that is not <laughs> the concept at all, is it? No, snack on exercise is my philosophy that makes it easy for busy people to fit exercise into their everyday life. So most people think of exercise as being like an hour and I've got to go yeah. somewhere and do it. So making it easy to fit it in, like when the jug is boiling, just do a few press-ups on the kitchen bench. If you've got a child, just holding your child, doing a squat lift with them. Just fitting it in, running up every set of stairs that you see, fitting it in a short chuck burst into your day. Squatting by the, uh, the photocopier, that is what I do. It looks yes. a bit crazy, all my workmates are like, what is she doing? But it does work. I love that, yeah. And that you can start a trend with that. You know, Everyone, that is what we're going to do. Tie it to is something that you do regularly during the day and it makes it easy to fit in. As long as you're wearing the appropriate attire. It doesn't work so well in a pencil skirt. Yeah, I have tried that before. Yeah. So just quickly then, can you tell me about the snacks that you've brought in today? That, why these are so healthy and good for us? Yeah, so we've got chocolate bliss slice, which is full of lots of healthy oils that are going to be great for your skin. Uh, it's got lots of antioxidants and anti-inflammatories in there. Yep. And we've got a quinoa quiche, which has got lots of lovely complete protein in there. Great um, for your kids' lunch boxes. These are actually already frozen, so they're just, you know, it's just so easy to have them pre-made and then you can pop it in your lunchbox or your kids and it's going to just keep you having that nice steady blood sugar level, keep your energy up, make you feel Sounds amazing. Sounds perfect. I'm going to keep one of these ones for my um, morning tea. Yes. Thank you. That has been absolutely interesting, Lauren. Really enlightening. And I'm going to have a good look at the recipes for your book as well. And Lauren has three signed copies of her book to give away. Just go to her website for details. Thank you so much for coming Thanks in. For having me. Really appreciate it. And thank you for the snacks.